Hello everybody and welcome in. It is time to talk about some patch notes. It's been a while. It's been a while. And this week we didn't get much much of a patch note, so it's gonna be quick, but we did get the big hints dropped. Uh, which we will be talking about. So we've got new Van Vanellope pass holders and needable contest was in game. And then also we've got Queen's Clash that came in, we've got a Fox Day celebration which is a cool like the Lady Fox from Robin Hood. And then we've got Coastal Conflict which is now Miguel leaderboard which I was surprised by and it is the energy type of leaderboard so spend energy, get that which is coming in action. It is going to be happening um, in a few hours from now. Then we've got the Towers, Rapunzel Towers, Big Hero 6 is already shown in there to come back. It's going to be interesting what Talk Like a Pirate Day is going to be like, what kind of celebration we're going to be getting at. Army Chief. If we're going to be get given more uh, parts of the Caribbean, maybe just Talismans, maybe something in-game. It's most likely just be a little reward that they throw in, but who knows. Two times Grand Coins. Stitch Event Tower is going to be the last Stitch Event Tower. So the last last one was meant to be the last, but then they gave gave like another week or so, and I'm not sure why. Holy, they did that. Now I think maybe because there was there was a little bit of shock from the community when it dropped, and especially I found that on my like YouTube comments from you all who are watching. There was a lot of people who had no idea. And they were just like, what? No! So, at least by bringing back one more time is not quite so much of a shock. It's like, hey, okay, well, we know this is happening now. We know it's going to go. We can make the most of it for one last time, and then we can go and do it better. But, but, it may be the last. That is correct. It may be the last. Like, unless, unless there's another issue. So, what I think happened is either one of two things. I think either one they had a delay in the content that they were going to bring and they had to slightly delay it anyway so they're like oh you know what stitch tower can come back or two they saw the amount of people who were surprised and shocked by it and a bit disappointed that they're like you know what we're just going to throw them a bone and we're going to let these people at least do it one last time i think it's more likely the first rather than the second but uh, who knows who knows? It could it could be either one. So that is that is a bonus anyway. Then Sally's potions, everybody's favorite event, everybody's event that we all need right there. And then rescue rangers coming out, and that's all just following in on the on the live in-game calendar that we've had. It's all popping in the same. So that's that's kind of great. But then, like this was this was like the first day. This is all we got. Next day hot little hot off the press right here raid information in game <laughs> that was like ralph breaks the internet um but it, the little thing that everybody's been waiting for and it's finally here so let us just jump into the game and we'll have a look there so so here we are in the game and what we do have is everything that we did see coming on in. We did see. We did see. Let me just thank you, Robert, for those. Hot Java Joe. Thank you very much. Um, and let's grab these club awards. That's going to help me get those those uh, tokens. So that's going to help. And Caden. Thank you very much. But what we do have right about here is following following the the pass holder so let me just jump down here not the pass holder the login calendar so we did have the Cruella PvP event that came and gone we had the sensational six here which is the Donald token come through then we had the shank token which was a giveaway for the Ralph event then we've got the go go token which is a giveaway for the big hero 6 event so it's likely going on they've already said that the wreck it or wreck it ralph <laughs> the rescue ranger event is coming next so that's this one here so this the whole the whole of september has kind of been laid out 
and most likely we're going to have the beast event no in the notices next week now how is this going to go are we going to be getting the raid dropping probably not likely until next week if we do get it next week so that is going to look like very end of the month is what we thought or start of next month that could also align with the last of the stitch tower so they could have dropped it back so stitch tower coming up this week which will be in line with coming up to that um starting roundabout with the rescue ranger event time and then that means drop a week and then the next week hey new new mode new new game mode new characters new raid all of that all of that is a potential potential option and i believe raid dropped end of end of october was it last year and if that's the case then we might have one month. Like I thought, I thought raid was most likely going to be here this month, and with all the hints that we've had in game, I thought it was most likely going to be last month. But maybe, maybe it might just be like end of next month, and we might get a new new mode. But like, look at this! It's got the Titans. It's the Titans. That's cool. That is so cool. Cozy, cozy's like, hey, check out these uh, Titans. Um, tearless, but. You know he's all you know he's hyped for the for the raid all right but let us jump into this raid news so the new raid approaches and i love like the the picture of of uh, this of uh, this uh, raid just looks it looks so awesome it is so awesome like maybe i can pull it up big soon for you guys but but it looks so cool. So one of the things that we are going to have. So just, just drop some hints. Yes, lightning. It's going to be Zeus, Mount Olympus. We kind of knew all that. But it's awesome to see the the Titans. And it's going to say it's going to be Titanic. It's going to be huge. It's going to be epic. It's going to be the Titans. Um, Meteor loves his little puns and all that kind of stuff and jokes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, and then they're also going to say there's going to be some new unique things that they're going to let us approach the raids but and with a new, new twist so then the things that are going to be coming back so this is going to be this is going to be pretty big so we're going to know okay we're going to be collecting tight tickets some people have said okay well what about the ursula ticket i have a feeling we're just going to be getting both tickets for both types ursula ones do have her little tentacles on them Maybe it's most likely this one's going to have a lightning bolt on them and then you're going to get raids for both be able to kick off both raids this is going to help younger lower clubs getting doing both and getting getting their mats up to do everything but it's also going to help higher players although there's probably going to be some clubs out there who's going to find it a bit taxing to carry on both ra raids so if you think that way let me know in the comments below uh, i know that can be a bit of a, a bit of a tiresome thing but i think there's only there's, there's going to be like a middle period of when people are struggling to do both to once people start getting some tier 9 characters all the tier 8.5 and tier 9 gear people are going to be slamming the earlier Ursula raids so much easier and faster even with just standard teams and just going to be a run in there boom blitz the raid and it's going to be like back to like an hour or for top teams maybe like us it's going to go back to like hey half an hour boom raid is over like that's a that's a potentiality like if everybody in our club showed up we could do that easily within half an hour but it's like there's no no drive to do that anymore there's no no reason to get everybody to jump on and do this every two days like it gets, gets a little bit repetitive after that so but i think people better just slam it once they have like the gear tier 9 characters from the new gear that we're going to be getting in new raid the old raid will be easier it'll be over faster it's not going to be as taxing and all your efforts are going to be going to this new one but that being said, yes, tickets. Both raids, I think they're both going to at the same time. Both the tickets. But also, we're going to challenge bosses taking down each of the titans. So, this is this is going to be very, very, very interesting here. So, we do have some hints dropping here. So, the, the, the each towering titan's persistent health. So, it's talking about we are going to be able to wear down each of their health. It doesn't say if it's going to be in a row or not or if it's going to be locked in like they were and ultimately defeating them all 
and then they're getting more new loot so that's the new gear tier 9 pieces that are going to be locked behind it for those last two pieces of gear and then heroic made heroic made mode will return so that's when we're going to get zeus um that's going to be awesome and then same mechanics that we know and everybody loves uh even the ones you dread so that means there is going to be they're going to have abilities like we see with ursula then they're also going to be they're going to be taking down characters where their instant defeats so there's one thing that like a lot of people didn't like about the ursula raid they felt you know what this just it just hurts it does but that uh, that seems like that's one of the things that glue have one of the differences that they're going to do compared to other games that have raids that's just what they're going to do and you know that that's that's fine that is fine like now that we come to know learn it know around it we just have to work around it so we're gonna have to do our best we're gonna be doing so much to look over this and find out the best ways around it the best ways to work on it this is the best part of the game um to all jump together as a club to do it now what's new so no that's what's going to be the same old things going to have abilities they're going to be doing instant ko's but here's something new and this is this is some of the cool parts so so instead of defeating the bosses in sequential order, so just going through them all, we're going to be able to challenge any of the four, um, any of the four titans in any order. So that's going to be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if we choose one as a whole club that everybody has to go for, or if it's going to be like you can take them all four on at the same time, they're lowering all their their house. That's going to be depending on which of those two is going to happen. Um, I have a. Feeling, I'm not sure actually. I think I think if you can take them all four at a time, it'll be potentially easier. Because at the moment, like we have overlaps where people are taking the same boss and then they defeat them, and everyone's like, "Ah, oh, well, we're still in game." And there was a wasted attempt. So maybe we'll see what happens with that. But let's carry on with this. So it's also the mechanics. There's several mechanics going to change based on the order that we defeat the titan so it's kind of probably gonna be like when the wind titan drops down so let's, i'm just putting theoreticals out there at this moment there's the wind the ice the rock and the let me have a little quick, quick look at that picture again because i want to see this and see it in all of its glory and let me find it quickly it was on there it is so we've got the the wind the the uh, the wind ice the rock and then the i can't even remember what the other one is help me out comments below um but i have a feeling that let me just I'll just pull this up bigger for you all so with these ones, the rock is the one that's like just up beside me, this two-headed rock titan, and then you've got the ice one that's just right next to it. The, the other one on the ground there is the one that I'm forgetting, and then the wind one. But, they look awesome. And it's going to be likely, like, in what order that we take them out, is going to be, say, if you defeat that wind one, maybe that is going to give all the other three increased speed. And then when he goes down, the other three bosses are now going to have more speed and they're going to be faster. So it's like, if you take him out fast, you're going to be struggling against the other one. So, but then, say, if you take out, let's just say, take out the rock one. Maybe all the other ones are going to have more health and defense. And that's going to make them more of a struggle. Maybe if you take out the ice one, it's going to be giving the other ones, all the other ones, more offense and crit. And that's going to make it more of a struggle. So, so e I can see any of those titans or potentially depending on their characteristic when you take one of them down it's gonna be hey we're gonna s they're gonna be giving buffs and things to help those other titans survive and then it's it's gonna be up to up to the the, the clubs and the teams depending on the teams that you have is what is gonna be most beneficial for your club or the teams of characters that your clubs have left to mitigate uh, whatever whether it's just regular buffs or if it's like hey they might they might work it in a way and, and say it's like a give it an empowered and it might be the wind titan empower and so you can't just purge it i'd say it's more likely going to go down that lane it's not going to be like hey since so you can't just go and purge it 
and that means when you get the wind one down and the rock one down, you're going to get uh, empowered speed as well as an empowered defense and health. And things like that. If that is the case, oh man, this, this it's going to be challenging. And that explains, kind of explains why they are not they they're not going to be stopping like per, the the polymorphing and things like that if that's the case so it's going to be it's, that is definitely going to be interesting um so let us let us continue on and it says you're going to have to flex your muscles and get all your characters out man we're very fortunate in olympus uh to have a lot of the best players in the game a lot of the some of the biggest accounts in the game so we're going to have a lot of different players characters to work through and I'm testing them all and I'm going to be making sure I jump on some calls and we're going to be testing and trying all sorts of different strategies out so I'm looking forward to that but it also goes in and saying there's also going to be different mechanics such as um, you're going to want to be bringing characters that can do multi multiple enemy damage so that that is one thing that's quite different to the last rage is that there was, there's, besides dash on the eels there was no real point of doing aoe's and things like that so it sounds like there's going to be a lot more either summons and little minions popping out on these rage bot raid rage <laughs> raid boss levels and that's going to be cool so it's going to make give a reason to say okay for this boss we're going to use our aoe's for this one we need to do so what else so that's going to be that's going to be pretty cool and then also they're gonna have you know we want to have team wide cleansers so we're gonna have we're gonna have like a whole lot of bad effects we're gonna also have be wanting to have there'll be a multiple of abilities highlighted that were underutilized previously so we'll be able to use crowd control like sleep silence polymorph all that kind of stuff so that's gonna be that's gonna be huge that is gonna be huge probably pyros hydros Lithos, Styros, ooh, that is, that is actually very highly likely, that is very highly likely, um, it'll be interesting if they keep summoning them as well, one thing that they used to have, so a little bit of history lesson for you, back in the old beta when the game was different, different, when it was the old turn base, on some of these challenge modes that they had, they had different little things, like they had one protect the pig kind of challenge mode, it was like an event, and they'd, they'd have waves of enemies coming, and you had to try and protect this one character. And if they died, rip, game over. Um, and it was actually challenging. It was very challenging. And then they had another one where you've actually got to, like, these enemies were ranged enemies, and they're behind a wall. And you had to either defeat the wall, break down the wall to get through to them, or you had to bring ranged characters yourself. I can see them bringing some of these different things out, and say the put a little like extra extra um, slots in that they can fit more enemies and then have like a whole bunch of protects and taunts that can't be purged from these like first ones before you can actually get to do the titans I can see all that kind of stuff happening it'll be it'll be very interesting to see what they do like the, what I'm saying is that glue has played with these different kinds of mechanics in the past that maybe a lot of people haven't seen and that the, Actually, when they came out, the community loved these game modes. The community loved the modes that had these on it. So, if if this is the case, that this will be an epic, epic, completely like flip flip everybody's thoughts on the head if this happens. So this will be interesting. And if you had the the, the ability to say uh, polymorph a piece of one of those protections and protecting walls to be able to get through and be able to, hey maybe I can target now these other adjacent ones that'll be interesting it'll be it'll be interesting to see where they go with this but there is a reason there's definitely a reason for it and I, I think it's definitely due to the summons you're gonna have to get through things at least um, and then all right let's move down finally Finally, let's 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 that's that's enough talk about all these guys. Let's jump back so you can see the actual notes. Although you can just read it for yourself. But back to these notes. Unless you'd prefer to be on the screen, which I can jump back. But back to these notes. Finally, some players will be able to ex um, experiment with the order of the the one that you take down. So it's going to be depending, like we said, do we want to give these buffs? Do we want to give those ones? Let's ch ch uh, pick and choose who we're going to have dropping first. Into how we're going to progress and then unlock Zeus. And I have a feeling, yes, 
Zeus is going to be locked behind Hero Heroic. Although you're also likely to be given like a one or two or three tokens given out in the milestones like we do with Ursula. Even for people who can't just do the, Herc the Hercules, the Heroics to get Ursula at the moment. So you can still be stockpiling some Ursula tokens. And then when you get to Heroic, at least you're going to be not too far, not too far like back to zero. Um, but you'll be getting more and get her faster. But... They are excited to see how these, how the community picks up these and all these strategies and Discord link is there but you can also get to the Discord link um, up here when you go to news, you can get to the Discord link up here in this top corner here, little Discord, make your way there. Now, it's going to be important for anybody who is watching this video and you are not in a good club, or you feel like you're you're not happy with the way that things are getting. No, I don't want all the clubs to get torn apart and to just everybody leave. But I want to say that make sure you feel you're in the right club. Let's put it that way. If you're a super active player, if you are doing your best and all this kind of stuff, and you want to be getting the rewards that you're, all the effort that you're putting into the game, whatever that might be, you want to be in a club that is going to be at the right same point and focus as you. You don't want to have like a half a club of slackers being like, oh, please do this for us. Uh, we can't help but get us these rewards. Like, that, that can drag you back. Unless you're happy to do that and you want to carry people and you're having just fun with people, then go for it. By all means, go for it. But, make sure you're in somewhere that is going to be, you're going to be making the most of your game and it is important to get into a good club. If you do need help with that, with clubs, uh, feel free, reach on out. Um, there is a whole bunch of clubs under the Champions of Olympus that we've been helping and sending a lot of good players to, to all these different clubs, depending on their, their activeness or their, wherever they're wanting to be in the game, whichever the stage they are. So we can potentially help some of you guys out. So get involved, stay tuned. I'm hyped for raids. I want to know how you guys are feeling, how hyped you are. And I'm just <laughs> cozy. <laughs> He's just like, raids. Just just look straight past the tier list. Raids. That's what we're here for. Um, but, if you haven't already, and you want to. Code's got his bit out. But, that's it for now. I can't wait to talk about more raids. We're going to be going over a lot when we get more information. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of theory beforehand, because I find that that's kind of pointless. And it gets people... Like, I'm happy to theorycraft and join me for on Twitch if you want to talk and do all that kind of stuff. Link's in the description below. But, other than that, I want to, I want to leave that off videos and we're going to be doing factual, what we know, what we've learned, what, what we can do about characters when we do. When we know things, the more information gets dropped, we'll be covering it then. So, we'll see you then. And, hopefully, if you want to stick around and you're not already, subscribe so you don't miss out. See you guys.